it's sitting outside. Uh, I'm going to have to start writing again. Uh, it is February... What is today's date? Today is the 12th. And we have to have all the, all the book and recipes in, I think, the first weekend of March. So I'm sitting outside. Backyard. And uh, get motivated to start some writing and get these uh, recipes in. It is a beautiful day outside though. Um, let me show you. Living in Arizona, rarely do you see these kind of cloudy skies. There you go. No rain, just uber cloudy. Uh, very overcast, so perfect day to hang out in your backyard and do some writing. I got my laptop and my writing book and my cup of coffee and lunch. So yeah, we're gonna do some writing and see what we get going on here and try to create something that everybody would be enjoy reading and will want to pick up and purchase. So let's see what we got. Another uh, positive of writing outside, the company I get to keep. Not quite sure. Oh, uh, no, 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 those are my headset. No, headset, no. That's a no, that's a no, thank you. Although cute, very destructive. Again, again, no, not with the cords. No, no, no. You're not making this cute, You're making this difficult. Answers no. She was just standing up on her hind legs. I've never seen them before. I wonder if he'll do it again. It was the coolest thing. I guess not. There's literally no clouds above me, but I am feeling small raindrops hit me. Very small. Not where it like, can't even say it's sprinkling, just small droplets of water. That's all I got for a cloud, way over there. And then above me, nothing. Even further up above me, nothing. Very odd. Okay, so I've been sitting out here for a couple of hours. As you can see, it has gotten darker. I've had my Pepsi, I've had my coffee, and I've written. And I was looking up at the sky. And those are pretty some awesome clouds. Okay, so I've been out here for a couple of hours um, writing. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, when I was younger, I would do a lot of writing, uh, notebooks, typewriter, whatever you might have you, I wrote. Um, I wrote a lot of short stories. I had actually had a couple of blog, was it Blogspot or Blogger? I had a couple of short stories on there that I wrote. And uh, I like writing. I, I really like writing, but this is pretty intense. Like. One, I know I write horrible. I'm sure my editor is like, does this girl not believe in a period? Does she not understand a comma? Does she know that through and through are spelt differently when you use differently? Using uh, words and, and commas and uh, English was not my strong suit in high school. I hated it, completely hated it. I don't know if I hated it or just the teacher or the fact that I was in high school and I'd rather be elsewhere, but I hated it. So, um, but you know, in my head I have this story and I see the pictures and I know what I want and I know what I want to say and clearly I can see it there, but writing it, man, <laughs> completely something else. So, so in the afternoon out here, it's been a beautiful day, uh, gorgeous for Arizona. Normally it's like a squelching 110, 20 degrees, but we are in the middle of February, so it's nice as where, you know, I think the East Coast right now is being plummeted with snow and I'm sitting outside enjoying this beautiful weather. 
So, got a few recipes in, and uh, now I am writing down the ingredients of what I use for my marshmallows and why I use them. And um, I mean, I have to make sure to realize myself that I am a novice. Uh, I stumbled across marshmallows. I love making marshmallows, and I am not an expert by any means in making the marshmallow. The book that I'm writing is, I want it to be for people who are like you, who just are at home and have no idea how to make a marshmallow and want to make one and go, oh, let's look at this recipe. And it just says, this is what it is and this is how you make it. And nothing fancy, nothing too hard and something that's easy to do by yourself. Um, you know, I'm reading some other books. I've, you know, I've done my research in other cookbooks and marshmallow books and they're like, you know, make sure to use this platform or, you know, you can use agave or you can use honey and, and then you can, um, I don't know, other stuff. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to use agave and I don't know how to use honey. Um, I'm sure if I substituted what I use for simple syrup, it would work out possibly. Um, but it's those things where I wish I could have been like Alton Brown and <laughs> have a show and be creative that way but this is what I do this is how I do it and so far it's worked so far I'm successful in it and so far it's working for me so I'm gonna keep doing what I do and hopefully people will want to read that and follow and buy the book and want to see what a normal Joe Schmo makes a marshmallow and uh, we'll go from there so um, if you'd like this video uh, please uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up, um, comment down below. I want to hear some comments about, you know, your thoughts, what you think of the YouTube videos so far. Um, I know they're just random. Uh, some days we're in the kitchen and we're videotaping the girls being goofy. Um, I know that's fun for some of you to watch because they're pretty goofy. Um, some videos are on marshmallow making. Um, if you want to see a marshmallow making video more so, let me know. I'll film one. Um, it's so loud and I don't have that technology. I have an iPhone to um, make it not so loud for you guys not to hear the mixers going, but I'm sure I could probably edit that part out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see in these videos. Um, I, I want to keep making them. One, the book doesn't come out until October, so I'm trying to get this to keep flowing so that way it piques your guys' interest to possibly, you know, want to buy my book. Um, but yeah. So, beautiful day, had fun writing, got some writing done. I got two weeks to finish a whole book. So, um, nothing like uh, waiting for that last second, but you know, I've always done my best work at that last minute. Hopefully this does not fail me now. Uh, but yeah, so thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, like. Those are all the adjectives and verbs that I know of that, see, there you go, English, I have no idea. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.